There we go. That should be all live. Hello, everyone. There you go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Start replay buffer, so that would be if you get the shiny on the first one. We have the replay buffer recording. There we go. Let's get going. How is everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing well. It is time for some shiny Lugia hunting. And uh, I, I look forward to not getting the shiny Lugia today. But we hope to get it soon. How's everyone doing? There, okay, there you go. The audio is kind of a little bit distorted. Because I, I think I mentioned this before, but like, the plug on my uh, headphones is kind of bent. So it messes up the audio coming over the thing. There we go. Now it's good. Hello there, Temper. Hello there, Truth Dome. Hope you get the shiny today. I hope I get the shiny today as well. Shiny Lugia is... I mean, this is one of those hunts that's going to take a long time. Yes, I am playing on an actual DS. This is true hardware. We believe in hunting on the real system. Tomorrow, for uh, Godzilla Kong The New Empire, we're actually going to be shiny hunting Groudon back in... Uh, Dynamax Adventures. I have not been keeping track of encounters. Uh, main reason why is I don't want to know how over odds I go with this thing. I, uh, I, we're not near odds. <clears throat> we're not near odds yet. But I, I mostly just don't want to know how badly over odds I go eventually. Because, like, uh... No, we're, we're probably not at a thousand yet. We, at most, are probably in the ballpark of... Maybe 400. Maybe 500 at absolute most. But we're, we're nowhere near odds yet. Because, you gotta remember... Hello, Mr. Mash, how you doing? Because remember, odds are for this game is 1 in 8,162. Not to do 92, sorry, right, right based. Why is the audio kind of screwing up there? So it, it's it's kind of very, very not good odds. Do any items? No. This uh, Soul Silver was before the Shiny Charm existed. And lost the Chairman Rose's Copper Raja. Yeah, again, the whole reason we're doing this is because back in our Shiny Ho-Oh Dynamax Adventure Hunt, I said, you know, it probably would have been faster if I had just hunted this thing back in, in Heart Gold. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is and I'm actually hunting this thing full odds back in Soul Silver. Copper Raja just built different... Yeah, I mean, Cop Raja is an interesting. It's interesting, cause it's a it's an HP sponge, steel type. Remember back when there was no shinies. The thing is, no shinies were Gen One. Gen Two added shinies. So that means you you have been around the block for a long time. Shrivels up into ball. But yeah, no, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty well. Potentially, there will be a later stream tonight. Uh, we may be doing our uh, X and Y continued playthrough series later tonight because the Godzilla Mega video is pretty much finished. It took a lot less time than I thought to actually put together. So, I may have time tonight to actually do a stream, so long as that thing is output. You know, so, so long as I actually get the video rendered and finished, polished. Because, right now, I finished the audio. Which, the audio is kind of the most difficult part, because when... His Ferrothorn used Curse three times. Oh! Ferrothorn used... Okay, so the Ferrothorn wiped him out. Fair than wiped out is okay. Anyway, has been grinding in Pokemon Emerald. Can't seem to beat Watson. Any tips for me? No ground weakness in my roster. 
Pokemon in my roster and most of my Pokemon are weak to electives. What is your present team? Because that, that I think is a bit important. What is the present team you got? And what are the levels? Because I actually don't remember what Watson's team is. Or I don't like what levels they are. So I've actually never played Emerald. But yeah, no, so if... So, uh, I finished the Godzilla vi Mega Video audio right now, which... The hardest part was the audio, entirely because of the way that I basically scripted the video, is... I basically wrote down ideas haphazardly, and I read those haphazardly written down ideas, and I needed to go after the fact that, okay, this section needs to go over here, this section should go here, this, you know, maybe one minute portion, I don't need that because it's redundant for this thing, and basically all that basically took a lot of time to do. Now... All I gotta do is sift through the massive bank of video clips I have for it and just put them at the appropriate places and then we're good. Who knows, maybe I'm gonna make a, a redone version of it in the future. Hello there, Oma. How do you do today? Maybe in the future I'll do like a redone better version of it, but it is mostly finished. I'm gonna continue my BDSP starter hunt. Ain't gonna be fun. Yeah, briefcase simulator is not a good time. Briefcase simulator is not a fun time. Are you doing the online competition in Scarlet Violet? Um, I actually didn't know about that. Let me go check. Because, let me go check what the rules are for that. Because if, if it's a special thing... Let me go check. Let's go Eevee is adorable, by the way. Yeah, I played Let's Go Pikachu. Like, I still say the Eevee in Let's Go Eevee is way more broken than the Pikachu in Let's Go Pikachu. Because Pikachu's moves are just, you know, it's a it's an always crit priority move. It is a water type move, which a water type move is okay. And then it's a flying type move that has a chance of flinching, but like even though the flying move isn't great. But, like, Eevee, it's got so many absurd effects. You've got a, a psychic move that sets light screen, a dark move that sets reflector, vice versa. You've got a grass move that does damage and activates leech seed. You've got a water move that heals you for half the damage it deals. You've got a fire move that always burns, uh, electric move that always paralyzes. It's like, there's so much. I'm not... I'm pretty sure Jolteon always got double kick, but they gave it and Pikachu double kick just as a way to be super effective against Brock. Because Brock is a rock type, and he's also a ground type team, which Pikachu can't touch, and Eevee can't do anything to uh, rock types with massive defense. So they just gave it rock. They, so they gave it a fighting type move to be able to beat it. Which makes sense. I have to go ready for work. Okay, it's wild. Honestly, I'm up to see my team. There's no sense unstoppable. Hello, Kayla. Pokemon Scarlet Violet competition live. Let me go check this. I'm curious on this now. Marshdomp. Oh, you should be fine with Marshdomp. Marshdomp is part ground. Yeah, Marshdomp is a ground type. I'm pretty sure Marshdomp is part ground, so you should be able to easily beat Watson just with that. You should be fine. Scarlet Violet Online Competition. Let me go check to see what is the, uh, the competition like for Scarlet Violet right now. And if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. There we go. Doing a little bit of uh, different stuff. Things. Global Challenge 3. Okay, Global Challenge 3. Battles. Registration. Global challenge of uh, kind of a loss, inclusion of penalties, gain points, defeating, lose, defeated, 10 to 4 days. I may do that Pokemon uh, global challenge. Uh, I'm unsure because it's. It looks like it's just uh, 
League points is what you get for it. Which I... Yeah, it, it's basically just League points, which I don't need League points. But it is an interesting idea. I might I might participate in that. Yeah, I mean now now if they did other stuff, that'd be different. If they did stuff like well I quit briefcase simulator a year and a half ago and I'm just gonna do it. Ah, I see Mr. Mash. Probably all legends. I don't know. Uh um, maybe it will be. Maybe it will be uh, a legend. The thing is, when it comes to restricted legendaries, you can only use one or two of them on your team. Well, I mean, Power Up Punch is no longer in the game. Uh, oh. Fan fact. The best normal type Pokemon in BDSP is Lapani. Cosmic Power and Power Up Punch? Wait. Power Up Punch is in BDSP? Uh, that may require chain breeding. Power uh, to flop on me. That's probably a chain breeding move you need to do there. Probably, because I'm pretty sure Lucario is the only thing that gets access to Power Up Punch in most of those games. And the only way to get it onto other things is specifically to breed it down via egg moves. Oh yeah, Lopini isn't in the current game. Sword and Shield, Middle Punch. Bushow, one of them now. See facade. Let's go egg moves. BSP technical records. Lubia, no shiny Lubia. Egg moves. Circle throw. Focus punch. Ice punch, fire punch, fire punch, fire punch. BSP only. Pokemon that learn power punch through. Level up in bring up. Oh yeah, Monferno gets it. Yeah, it only gets it via egg moves. And that would mean either getting Infernape, which you have Infernape at that point is already a power-up punch user, or Lucario. In Lucario, you get very, very late game. Yeah, because like nothing else gets it via level up. I mean, I guess you could find them in the Grand Underground. But I think you have to be at a certain point deep into the game in order to get Pokemon with egg moves. Could be wrong on that. Hello, Mr. Way. Can one of the mods go grab Mr. Way Gaming's link, please? How do you do, Mr. Way? Nope, wrong button. There we go. Uh, Cosmic Power. Does it get Cosmic Power via normally, or is that... Oh, yeah, Cosmic Power, BDSP only. And that is... I'm assuming also... Yeah, that's an egg move as well. What is no wow, nothing? Wow, nothing gets cosmic power via level up that uh, Lopany gets. So Lopany would need to be chain bred for that. Here's the moves that I gave it. Strength, power up punch, cosmic power, ice punch. I feel dizzy punch would probably be better over... Strength. Unless it doesn't get Dizzy Punch, which, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't get Dizzy Punch. What do you even learn? I mean, I'm pretty sure Dizzy Punch is um, something exclusive. Just. Do you Kangaskhan now? Thank you very much, brother. Glad to hear it. Hello there. Way, how you doing? Okay, because it doesn't get Dizzy Punch. Control F. Dizzy. Yeah, I guess it doesn't get Dizzy Punch. Yeah. Is, is, that a, is that unique to just a Kangaskhan now? Because I'm pretty sure other stuff got it. Dizzy Punch. I'm pretty sure other stuff got Dizzy Punch. I could be wrong. Yeah, the Ice Punch is also chain breeding. That's kind of unfortunate about a lot of the Pokemon games. Is that there's a lot of really cool moves that Pokemon get. But they are exclusively via egg uh, egg moves, and getting egg moves is a pain in the nuts. Prior to Gen 3, it was exclusive to Kangaskhan. 
learn set via level up. Let's see what learns Dizzy Punch, because I always found that move pretty funny. It's not a great move, but I always found it amusing. I always found Dizzy Punch a highly amusing thing. I shall want him in a Okay, Dizzy Punch. Huh. Okay. Oh, I, I guess Dizzy Punch isn't in... Ah, Dizzy Punch isn't in Gen 9. Yes, yeah, Sword and Shield things. That, yeah. Oh, is it? It's not in Sword and Shield. Yeah, Gen Seven was the last time it was by level up. Okay, so it was a move that. Okay, so it's one of the moves that got taken out. There's a lot of moves that have gotten taken out. I kind of a while ago I actually thought about making a video that basically goes over every single move that got taken out of. Uh, the games with Sword and Shield, because there's a lot of them. Like, the, the list of moves is extensive. I think it's at something in the ballpark of maybe 80 or 90 moves are just gone. And even more of them were basically drastic. Now, the thing is, you can't nerf Lopany. Lopany was bad to begin with. You can't really nerf something that was not great to start. But even that, I was like, D Dizzy Punch wasn't a fantastic move. It was mostly RNG. Because it always confused... I, I, no, it was a, it was a, I think it was a 50% chance of confusing. Confusing. Quick question. Why are Pokemon games so expensive compared to PS and Xbox? Assuming I get a copy of you and you have the same price as Color Wallet. Um, what do you mean, Trues Dome, by games being expensive? Do you mean buying older Pokemon games? So, like, buying a game like Black and White these days compared to buying, like, Scarlet Violet? Because games like Scarlet Violet um, and Sword and Shield, those are the same price as, like, Xbox and PlayStation games. Unless you mean, like, old school Xbox games and old school PlayStation games. Assuming older games are cheaper than the newer ones. No. No. The, the the older games are a lot more expensive. Well, for some of them. Uh the black and white and black two white two, those games go for well over a hundred dollars, like well over $150. Uh ba basically anything Gen 4 and earlier, well Gen 5 and earlier, those go for Hundreds of dollars. Those games go for a lot of money. Hey, Pokemon Go, how you doing? I've seen Emerald Sias. Yeah. Like, the older Pokemon games go for absurd amounts of money. The older games go for insane amounts of money. It's just, it's, it's not even comparable. But a lot of the, like, the Xbox and PlayStation games, those go for less money because they are avail they were available digitally. When something is available digitally, it actually decreases the price in the resale market. It's a bit of a, a weird anomaly. But the one, I mean, one of the other reasons why the Pokemon games go for so much money is the people who sell them are aware how few copies of those games are on the market. So, they know they can charge whatever they want, and people are going to pay out the nose for it. We did not get Johnny Latias yet. The problem with buying Pokemon Emerald is that I've wasted a lot of money on fake copies, so it's hard to figure fakes from the reels. And that's the other problem. But generally, it's actually based on price. Generally, you can tell whether a game is real or fake by the price that people are selling it for. But yeah, no, Pokemon games cost a lot of money. Pokemon is an anomaly in that way. Where a lot of other games for most other series don't go for the same price as Pokemon does. 
Now, that's a combination of one, they've gotten re-releases and remakes much more frequently. You know, you get things like ports of older games more often. Pokemon doesn't. I bought a copy of Black 2, and it ended up being a mod, but it was only 20 bucks, so I should have known better. Yeah. Yep, Jules, we are going for Shiny Lugia. Yeah, like that, that's the thing, is if it's cheap, that's basically a dead giveaway, it's fake. Thank you very, Keth Wally. I hope. We are still massive under odds, and we also are hunting on physical hardware. We are hunting on an actual file of soul silver for this. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Here we go. Let's just keep going. Keep going around. But yeah, no, Lugia is uh, Lugia is deciding to not shine. But it's going to take a while for us to get this shiny. We are barely. Like, we're, we're not even 5% of odds. So you have some opinions. I've saved up money. Possibly Scarlet Violet. Both the new Legend ZA. Should you wait or just get Scarlet Violet? No. I'd say get Scarlet Violet right now. One of the big reasons is SV... Um, SV... Legend ZA isn't coming out for well over a year. That game is coming out... Very, that is going to be the 2025 Pokemon game. So that's going to be like the November of that year. We're not getting a game this year. So we've got a year and a half until, you know, the next Pokemon game comes out. I would say... Again, the other thing is we don't really know what Legend ZA is going to have. And based on the experimental nature of the Legends, like, IP, where Legends Z, uh, the Legends sub-series of Pokemon seems to be what Game Freak is doing with their experimental titles. So, the games that do not have battling as a major component, that are not go-out-get-gym badges and are instead focused on they exist within the greater universe of Pokemon, but they don't use the main... I, I guess, I, I don't want to say formula, but they don't play like games like Sword and Shield, Scarlet Violet, Diamond Pearl, Platinum, Black and White XY, where you go out, you get badges, and you have online battling. They're more like self-contained smaller stories and with that as an idea Legend ZA may not be the game for everyone which there, there's a lot of things about Legend ZA already that are kind of red flags that this game is not going to be what we think it is Uh, Story-wise, I'd say it's best to be the Yeah. I enjoy it. Like, I enjoy Scarlet Violet. I think it's very worth it. And we just don't know enough about... Uh, we just don't know enough about Legend ZA yet. Because the way I see it is this. If, hypothetically, Legend ZA is, you know, everything that we hope it is. That it's, you know, this great game, expansive, massive... What What is it going to be? You know, it is waiting, you know, what, two years between Pokemon games in order to get that? We also don't know if the Switch 2 is coming out before that. So, at that point, you need to buy the game and the Switch 2. Which is itself kind of a bit of a problem. Because, you know, unless you, you already don't have Switch, which that's a bit of another problem altogether. Again, it's, we just don't know enough yet about the game, I guess, to make like informed decisions, I guess. Which is also one of the reasons why I say be very wary of leaks. We got around uh, 150... 
So I'd like to get the DLC of Scarlet of Out as well. Yeah, you should have enough. That's enough. Because the DLC is like 35 bucks. And if you only get one of the games, which we'd be more than happy to give you the version exclusives. Well, something like uh, the version of the Paradoxes, those probably people don't have for trade. Because if people do have those for trade, they're probably hacked. But the good thing is you don't actually need the version exclusive paradoxes to fill out the Pokedex to get like anything important. The shiny charm you get just from the base decks. The only thing that you miss out on is one, I mean if you don't want to keep them. Yeah, well, I mean other than keeping them, but again. Well, I mean then you could always have a, a friend of yours, you know play a second version a second file of their ones they have the DLC for and then you do an exchange which is something I always recommend to people but that's what I always recommend people is you don't need to buy both games all you have to do is find a friend who has you know the other game and just say you want to do a second playthrough of the game and send over the version exclusives like the one-time version exclusives from to each other because it, it's a win all around you get to play a game that you get to play the pokemon games again which one of the things that pokemon was made with in mind is replaying the game using a different team so you get to experience all the new pokemon again and you get the version exclusives as well as you get to play with a friend it's like it's a win 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 and i always recommend that as opposed to buy both games and buy both DLCs. Because at that point, you're spending, what, $200? Because you have $35 for the first DLC, $35 for the second DLC, and then it's $120 for the both base game. As opposed to buy one game, buy one DLC, that's, you know, $100. Well, less than $100, but with tax, it's about $100. You ever used Pokemon Radar? I've never done anything with it. I've never done anything with the uh, Poke Radar. I want to do that at some point. I mean, that's that's generally what my recommendation is: just do a second play through the game, and just exchange version exclusive with someone. That's probably what I'm going to be doing at some point: is doing another playthrough of my game just to get more of the paradoxes because they're not random IVs, so you can't. IV reset for say a zero speed or a zero attack version of them you need to get them you, you can't they're all identical which is kind of a bit of a clever thing on Game Freak's part which I think the whole reason for that is to catch people who are genning and modifying the Pokemon also thank you very much whoever subscribed you know, we, we've got ideas for future shiny hunts, because we are doing a living shiny dax. So we need to do the shiny hunting in all of the different systems. Snow Raid. Hello there, Snowy. Welcome in. Hello there, Mudkip. Uh, hello there, Snowy. Welcome in. I don't believe I'm familiar with you. Hello there. Can one of the mods go grab Snowy's link? I love redoing the games with stipulations like shiny only. On the yeah, that's what I like to do. Uh, what are the best starter for Paul Day? Considering I want to have a type range team, the best starter. Oh, this night. I always recommend as the best starter for Paul Dea is Flaycoco for two reasons. Fire types are generally very, very rare, and even though in in Paul Dea there are a lot more, you know, fire types you have access to, they're still generally quite rare. Uh, what were you doing? What were you streaming over on your end, Snowy? As well as Skeledurge is absolutely broken with its signature move. Its signature move is absolutely bonkers. So I always recommend Fue Coco. Also, I just love this. It's gonna hat in time. Interesting. I have heard of that game. Never played it, but I have heard of it. Finish the game, nice. Yeah, Torch Song, yes. Yeah, Torch Song is just insane. I love it. 
Like moves, moves like that are absolutely amazing. But yeah, I recommend Skeletor as your starter. There's a lot of options you actually have available. Like whenever I play a Pokemon game, what I always do is I never use Pokemon that are not from that region, as in like that are not new to that game. And I always use, and I never use Pokemon that I have done in a previous playthrough. So if I play a, so if I do re a replay of Paldea, I always make sure to use Pokemon I've never used in a previous Paldea playthrough. It's kind of a bit of a complicated thing, but it kind of makes sense in the thing. Yeah, no, that's good. But welcome in, Snowy. Also, I see that you like Kirby. Wonderful. I am also a fan of Kirby. And there you go. Don't forget to leave a subscribe if you haven't done so already, guys. Thank you very much. We have a Godzilla Mega video coming out tomorrow. Big fan of Godzilla. And really looking forward to Godzilla Kong the New Empire. So we're probably only going to have one stream tomorrow, which is going to be midday. But other than that, we, uh, we'll figure that out as we go. Oh, yeah, I love Kirby. Very fun. Favorite final boss theme? Because, like, there's so many good ones. There's so many fantastic ones. Hello, the Revan Plays Games. How are you doing? How do you do? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, no, today's been pretty good. Today's been quite good. Um, I'm probably... Well, well, we'll be able to do a bit of a short one on Tuesday. Tuesday's going to be a bit of a day that things going to be a bit wonky. We'll figure that out. We will, we will figure that out. I am a Kirby addict. That's good. I mean, Kirby is a great series. Watching your stream perform job. Thank you very much. Oh, job interviews. I definitely feel that. Favorite paradox. What is your favorite paradox? I like Iron Bundle. One of favorite Chinese. Very stressful moment is fun on the edge of a cliff beyond the fence. Almost fell. Oh boy. My favorite, my favorite paradox is Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is also my favorite Pokemon from Paul Dea. Uh, I'm actually not keeping track of how many resets uh, Kieran Smith. The main reason is I don't want to know how far away from odds I am. I don't want to know how far over odds I am. It is about the journey to get the shiny, not the number of encounters it took to get, at least for me. Because we're doing only shiny decks. You know, it... It would be a lot... I mean, also, I've noticed when it comes to doing counters for uh, soft resets on shiny hunts, it slows down the speed at which I hunt. It slows down the rate of the hunt. Not really. A lot of people have kind of not been keeping track of their encounters... Late, like, seems I'm using AI to speed run getting shinies. I think they've been doing that for den resets. That well, they did that for den shinies back in Sword and Shield. Yeah, that was that was that's the thing that they kind of did a while back. But they now they're just getting more clever about doing it. Which is unfortunate, because hacking is not good. Hacking is not a good thing. But yeah, it's, I, it's mostly I just don't want to know how heavily over odds I get when it comes to shiny hunts. Because when we shiny hunted uh, for Ho-Oh back in Dynamax Adventures, Ho-Oh went nearly seven times over odds. And every time that I did an encounter for it, it just, it kind of became a greater and greater thing of just complaining about we're at odds, we're seven times over odds, this, this, it basically just repeating the same thing over and over again, it was less about the actual hunt itself than, you know, just kind of complaining about the odds, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of... It's a bit of a roundabout thing, and who knows, I might actually go back to keeping track of it in the future. 
Yeah, hackers should not hack because hackers are hackers. I mean, not even just that. Is that if you hack and you gen, it'll get your Switch disconnected from the internet. Like, it is very easy to track hacking and genning. And they know who is hacking. And they are able to track where hacked Pokemon come from and basically who has them. And then your Switch will just get disconnected from the internet. That's where the whole the bricking comes from. Which is one of the reasons we always advocate for playing legit. Let's make, a, let's make a new poll. Let's make a new poll. Alright. But if you get a shiny under 1k race, that's a good up shot. I mean, I for me it's more the journey than the actual odds. If you use justification, it's not very likely, but why risk it? But why risk it at all? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've seen from the whole world's debacle. People hacked at worlds. Half of worlds got kicked out for hacking. Like at, at that point, you're going to worlds. You're going to a place where like well, I mean, Japan is very, very anti-hacking and anti-game modifying. You're going to a place that is incredibly anti-game modifying. To Basically, like, the Super Bowl of Pokemon. They're going to be monitoring that. Why take the risk? Which shows kind of a couple of unsightly things, but there's that. But yeah, it's not really... I, I don't really see Shiny as, like, a trophy to show off. It's more of just... I like to have the Shinies. You know, it, it was like a first encounter Shiny, then that's something... But, you know, it, it, it's more of the journey than the actual shiny itself, is kind of the way I think about it. Because I used to think it about as, like, the shiny is the destination, and that's all that matters, and that kind of just destroyed my enthusiasm for shiny hunting. So now it's just, we don't focus on the encounter anymore, if, if, if that makes sense. Nope. But yeah, for me, it's... I know about how long it took to get, and that's all that matters. You know, I... I, I, I don't really think it's, it's kind of a good thing to be you know, showing off things. It just feels boastful, I guess. I have never played Elden Ring. I, I've, I've played very few games that are, are not Pokemon or Call of Duty Zombies or Fossil Fighters. Gen 5 Legendary. Zephram. Ram. Ram. I, I never remember how to spell Kyrem's name right. I always mess up spelling Kyrem's name. I keep, I, I switch around the Y and the U. I never remember which way it goes. K-Y-U. K-Y-U. Of course, I just really missed the U. K-Y-U-R-E-M. P-U-R-E-M. There we go. Okay, well, I don't know why Zekrom's name, okay, there we go. Now Zekrom's name gets spell check flagged. It's weird. Start port. Oh, well, Kyra Kyrim is only 9 foot 10? That's tiny. Then again, Groudon is, like, less than 12 feet tall, because Groudon is short. I beat the game, but it took me 112 hours. I mean, isn't Elden Ring a lot like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, where it's an open world game? I mean, I've never played, so I don't really know the idiosyncrasies and specifics. I'm curious what all of your favorite Gen 5 Legendary is. So I, I like all three of them. I think they're all pretty cool. For different reasons. I'm, I'm very curious. The other reason why we're not doing AI... 
the reason why we're not doing, you know, Gen 2 ones is because we all know we're probably going to be biased to Lugia because it's a Lugia shiny hunt. Even though Ho-Oh is actually my favorite of the two of them. It's 9 foot 10. Kyrim is 9 foot 10. Never cheated in a game, to be honest. Always an actually good trip game. Nice. Kind of like... I have no idea who that is. Kiran, I have no... I have no idea what S-A-O is. Five is good. Their legendaries have unfinished business, so I'd love to see how far they can take it in the future games. What do you mean the le legendaries have unfinished business? I'm not really sure I follow. Hey, Rod. Not really. I don't really watch much anime. Like, I've seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, I've seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I've seen Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, Kill a Kill, Gurren Lagann, and that's all. In the middle of watching Hunter x Hunter, and one of my mods is making me watch One Piece, eventually. But that is about all. Sword Art Online, right? I have seen a few episodes, but never finished. Oh, Sword Art Online, that's what that is. I've heard of it. I I honestly always thought that was a video game. Because, I don't know, it doesn't sound like the name of an anime. That sounds like the name of a game. Like, one of the mods go grab Rod's link, please. How long is One Piece like one? Yeah, like 1K episodes. Back decided to restart Pokemon Reborn. Nice. Good work, James. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, but One Piece is, I think, like 1,100 episodes almost. Jujutsu Kaisen, Tokyo Ghoul, Online. And I swear, if this Rowlet doesn't shine... I'm... We do not hunt Rowlet. Rowlet is good. Friend. Yeah, I'm pretty sure One Piece is still on guy. Yeah, I, I was not really a big anime person. For me, it's like, I like, like, Godzilla and stuff like that. Anime was never really my kind of thing. Wow, next check was shiny. Fun. It's always how it works. Like, the, the second you're at your breaking point, that's when it sparkles. That's right when it happens. When you least expect it. I like 80s movies. Nice. Yeah, same here. Keep in mind, that's a game with 1% odds. Fun. Very fun. Well, I mean, it, it's a fan game, so there's that. I have the pain. Mm, not really. I mean, 1% is Dynamax Adventure Shiny Hunting. So, well. Tangle, I mean... In the grand scheme, it's a little bit more than that because of the, you know, you get four encounters, but it's, what, like 5%-ish. You go line with 5%, so somewhere between 4 and 5%. It's a, the numbers are weird. I don't remember enough about AP stats to actually calculate the probability. Oh, we, we have no shiny luck here. There is no shiny luck that exists in this chat. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already, and leave a like on the stream. I accidentally put Nutella in the freezer, now it became fudge, sadly, so I have to put peanut butter. I mean, couldn't you just let the Nutella melt? I mean, I always love putting Nutella on a sandwich along with peanut butter, that was delicious. If you can't tell, I'm a sucker for Reese's peanut butter cups. I am an absolute sucker for them. Yeah, I know, but let it let it melt. Let let the Nutella melt. You should watch Bofuri as well. Sometimes you might enjoy Mother Nature. I mean, I I tend to not really watch much stuff today. I tend to not really watch much stuff today because a lot of the time that I'm I have its free time is spent working on a lot of other videos. So I, I, I work, I used to just ravenously devour series. Like I knocked out the entirety of 
JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. From Phantom Blood all the way through the end of Stone Ocean in, I think, like, two weeks. But after that, yo stuff kind of slowed down because I spent a lot more time editing videos, working on videos, and you, you kind of can't really uh, watch anime when you're recording and uh, editing because you kind of need to be able to pay attention to what's going on in the game. By the way, I found a Reese's peanut butter for the delicious. That sounds amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, there's actually a really cool story about the origin of the other uh, Reese's peanut butter inside the peanut butter cups. Apparently, they accidentally burnt the peanut butter when they were making it. And they liked it so much, they actually uh, kept that as the main thing. Well, that worked out well. Indeed, it very worked out well. It worked out delightfully well. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. I was again the same. I used to watch a lot of anime apps at the start of YouTube. Don't want to watch it. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's I'm a bit of a workaholic. I have the very workaholic mindset where I need... I mean, it could just be like a specific time of the year because I have noticed when it comes to specifically uh, February, March, and the sort of the start of April... That is when the slow growth of channels really takes root. Ow, there's a thing in my eye. They're like, like, very slow growth. So I'm spending a lot more time working on a lot of projects right now. So that way, when growth starts picking up, I can get a lot more projects out the door. And I can start streaming more of Focus. You were editing pretty last night. Time zones are always close. I mean, I generally edit until that night. I generally stay awake a lot. Best way to Shiny Hunt. Uh, I can't do Dynamax Adventures. Don't see. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend Dynamax Adventures. Dynamax Adventures is extremely inefficient. It is a horribly inefficient way of shiny hunting. There's only very specific Pokemon that I would say Dynamax Adventure is is good for. But in general, my recommendation is actually to go for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Because that way you have the shiny charm and you have almost every single legendary shiny huntable. The only legendaries you can't shiny hunt for in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, with the shiny charm taking effect, are Type Null and Slavalli, because Type Null and Slavalli, those encounters are always full odds for shinies. Same with Poipo. Poipo is not a legendary. And... The four Tapus are shiny locked, Zygarde is shiny locked, and the Cosmog family is all shiny locked. But everything else, every legendary, uh, the legendary birds, legendary beasts, Ho-Oh, Lugia, Groudon, Rayquaza, Kyogre, Latios, Latias, the Regis, Terrakion, Cobalion, Verizion. Also, Necrozma is shiny locked as well. Briefly forgot about Necrozma. Uh, Reshram, Zekrom, Kyram, Xerneas, Yeveltal, all those are available for shiny hunting. Same of all the other little smaller trios, Uxie, Mesbert, Azelf, Cresselia, uh, Landorus, Tornadus, Thunderous. Is that all of them? Yeah, I said Sweet Kunite Raito already, I think. Uh, what is the best way to hunt? Ah, uh, for any Switch game. Okay. Um, then your only option would be BDSP. The thing is, BDSP does not have the shiny charm in effect. So, it, it, it's kind of a thing of its default BDSP. And even then, you only get the legendaries Gen 1 through Gen 4. But everything is, is unlocked. So, you can shiny hunt for everything that existed Generation 1 through Generation 4 in that game. Just look at the poll. No love for Kyram, guys? There's some love for Kyram. Yeah, someone, someone voted for Kyram. 
If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. Our goal is to hit 7k by the end of the year. But you guys are the ones that make all that possible. Nope. No Shanalugia. I'm hoping to get this thing before bank closes. But we uh, we need to see we're gonna see about that. We're gonna we're gonna see about that. Uh, I want to get Johnny Arceus. I'm too lazy with the Legends Arceus. Yeah! Completing the decks of the Legends Arceus is not a fun time. Not a historically fun time. The thing is, I'm going to need to redo that at some point. Because I need to get a lot of footage for a Legends Arceus video I'm working on. And I need to basically uh, recomplete the whole game. So that's not gonna be fun. Did Echo sent me thing. Oh, but Echo, what did you send me? Echo sent generally sends me cursed things at the worst possible time. Okay, I need to explain that. Fun. Yeah, I mean, well, the thing is, I'm not going to need to complete the decks in that game. I just need to complete the decks enough to be able to beat the game. So, well, I need to complete the decks enough to get to fight Volo. Well, mm, actually, I will need footage of the Arceus battle without my face cam in it. So there is that. I will actually need to beat everything again. That's not going to be fun. We have Curse, Legendary, Mystery Dungeons, Beings, Beauty. Oh, no. If you ever need Mochi, let me know. I still need uh, Sparkling Munch. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Munch, I didn't see you in the Discord. I'm a cursed mystery dungeon. No, 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 no. I, I, I do not want. No, no cursed Mystery Dungeon things. No cursed Mystery Dungeon is allowed here. We love Mystery Dungeon. No cursed Mystery Dungeon things are allowed here. That is not permitted. Go. Uh, where can I drive on mobile, by the way? Um, I'm pretty sure Kayla had the link yesterday that worked. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I'd recommend if you do have a, like, a desktop or a PC you can join on, it would be best to go with that and go to the description and then join that way. Because the it, for some reason, mobile does not like uh, links in chat or even links in the description. It's very weird. I don't understand it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, what is it? What is it? Oh, yeah, like this, this thing. Okay. Yeah, Lugia Shiny Hunting for this one. I think I'm probably going to reserve the Lugia Shiny Hunting for like the middle of the night. Because it, it doesn't seem like people are coming out as much for the Lugia Shiny Hunting mid to day. So, again, we, we just do a flop around and find out. Yeah, I mean, maybe we got some ideas. I don't know. I'll get, I'll get some things. I'll, I'll figure out some plans. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we will. I mean, again, this is also going to be a bit of a shorter one. But then again, we have even live an hour. So, yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay enough. Why is it still my eye? I get an eyelash in my eye. Oh. Sorry. Here we go. Okay. But yeah, no, Lugia is being a bit of a long, shiny hunt. 
Yeah, we are probably at maybe 500 encounters at most. Absolute most. So there, there is that to consider. Uh, but Dynamax Adventures, no, Dynamax Adventures does do a lot better. Who knows? We might, we might switch a lot of adventures. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, because uh, yesterday I was looking to do some Dynamite adventures, so I was trying to find a GameCube games since it wasn't my childhood. I was playing Star Fox Adventures the other day. Oh, fun! Nice. Oh wait, we getting rated again? Hey, AM Clocky Nevi, is this Stroganoff? Hello there, Mr. Keith Stroganoff and Razzy. Hello there. Are there any mods that would be able to go and grab Keith Stroganoff's link? How are you all doing today? What were you doing, Mr. Keith Stroganoff? Hello there, Mr. Lionheart Plays. Elsie Newman, welcome in. Wowzers, twice in a row. Matt Brock, how you doing, Matt? Is Mr. Berto. Nico! Oh, Neko, how you doing? There's Key Stroganoff. Come on, the mods, go grab Key Stroganoff's link, please. How are you doing? Hope it went well. If you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and to leave a like on the stream. But how were you doing, Mr. Keith? What were you doing today? Hope it went well. Zekrom Solos, all Gen Fibers. Hello there, Colors Gaming. Eh, I mean, I love it. It's a great stream. Ooh, how did it go? Let me hear about it. Hello there, Sido620. How you doing? And for those who are wondering, we are hunting on physical hardware. We are hunting on an actual... Oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to bump the mic. We are hunting on an actual DS. But hello there. If you want the mods, please go grab Mr. Keith's link. If not, I can grab it myself. I can go do that. Control D. Here we go. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll put one more. Oh, the last one was Kyram. Uh, did some Dynamax Adventures. And in one run, got Shiny Drift Bloom and a Palkia. So wait, wait. You got two Shinies in a single DA run. Nice work, man. I have not had that happen to me, and I, I'm i kind of glad it hasn't happened to me, because I don't think I would mentally be able to handle having to pick. Because it's like in the Unova games, where if you find a shiny uh, in the double battle grass, there you go, there is Mr. Keith's link. There we go. Fun fact, people with the dedication and patience to what Legendary legendaries legitimately in actual hardware are a green flag and Oh, thank you! I mean, for me, it's a thing of I've always been very anti-genning. I'm, well, I'm, I'm very anti-genning. I'm very anti, you know, anything to do with illegitimate acquisition of Pokemon. And I practice what I preach. You know, I, I go out of my way to specifically go on the physical hardware Especially for shiny hunting. It's also one of the ones I don't really play a lot of emulators. I will only play an emulator for a like playthrough series as an absolute last resort necessity. Mostly because one, it's just it's there's something about the feel of playing on the the true hardware that just it it feels entirely different. Hello, Mega Rayquaza 601. Oh, you're back next week. I hope. I hope it is Mega Rayquaza. Sally is not. Yet. People will have to notice. Yeah, that's exactly how it is, Colors. That is exactly how it goes. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Goal by the end of the year is to hit 7k. That is like the, the high bar goal. 5k is like the baseline goal. But that is what we do. But yeah, no, that's the, that's exactly how it is, Colors. Because it's, it's the same way when you're shiny hunting for one Pokemon. You always find shinies of everything else other than the thing you're hunting. Literally, shiny Latias. We've been doing that in Dynamax Adventures. 
We have phased ten times on that thing. Most recently was Shiny Amoongus, which we got last night. Oh, then right now, I hope. I think Kirby is underappreciated series, which is why I like it very much. I, I, it's, I mean, Kirby is a beloved series. Kirby is, in general, a heavily beloved series. It's just... It's not as media and, like, market gripping in the same way, like, Pokemon and, like, Mario are. But, no, it is... Kirby is a very well-loved series. Because the worst thing... Okay, yeah, compared to the other Nintendo IPs, yeah, it... It definitely gets outshown. And I, I think a large part of that is the games do have a very specific market appeal. Where Kirby, like for those who don't know, Kirby games to play are relatively easy. You can, you can go through a Kirby game and like barrel through a lot of things with your powers. You can handle things slow. And... They're generally easy games to beat, other than the final boss. The final boss is generally a nightmare in most of them. But if you're going to 100% Kirby, if you're going for extra mode, if you're going for arena, you're going for true arena, you're going for all collectibles, be prepared to pull your hair out. Those are some of the most difficult games you will ever play. It is this perfect balance of a very, very high... Uh, there's a very low skill floor with Kirby, but a very high skill ceiling. Correction, Nintendo's Icon. Not games. Yes. Nintendo's Icon's not games. It's like quality over quantity. Yes. Yeah, Kirby games generally release at a much slower pace than a lot of the other Nintendo IPs. Like, it's kind of the same way with, like, Metroid. You know, Metroid is a beloved series. It just, they don't make a lot of Metroid games. You know, Metroid Kid Icarus. There's very few not well-liked Nintendo IPs, I, I'd say. You know, they're, they're generally always very well-received, very appreciated. It's just, they get outshone when stuff like Mario and Pokemon exist, because... You know, you're, you're comparing literally the two best-performing video game franchises to everything else Nintendo's ever produced. It's it's not even a contest. Hey, Planty! How you doing? Come on the mods, go grab Planty's link, please. Hope you're doing well, Planty. It is indeed Myth Planty. It is indeed a good Wednesday. I mean, it is a very good Wednesday. I finished editing, well, at least uh, the majority of work on a massive editing project I've been working on. So I can get working on other stuff now, too, which is fun. Which, uh, that, that major project is now... I'd say that major project is... 73% completed. Uh, there's still a lot of polishing that needs to be done on it. But it is mostly finished. All the tough legwork is is mostly finished. Hi, Clocky. How you doing? Oh, do we have any mods in chat? Uh, okay, new mods. Uh, Clocky, Planty, you are getting promoted. I'm watching the Pokemon Horizons. I can't seem to like it. Is there anything I should look at? Watch? I've never seen Pokemon Horizons, so I actually don't know. Yeah, I... Lately, I've been on a big editing and, like, recording grind spree. And that's kind of been the case for a couple of months. So I, I kind of don't really have as much time to watch stuff. And I, I actually kind of, like, stopped watching Pokemon stuff, like... I did an entire anime watch through like three. Actually, no, not three. Jesus. Four and a half years ago is when I did my full Pokemon anime watch through. Uh, I. By that time, like, I finished what was available, and it was before Ash won the Alola League. And I, I saw, like, nothing of Ash win. I knew Ash won the Alola League, but I didn't, like, watch it happening. 
And I never watched anything in Galar. And I haven't seen anything in Horizons. I like Horizons one of the previous seasons, but I watched Wolverine and even thought it was not Pokemon. But I say watch Wolverine even though it's not Pokemon. Yeah, it's like I... I don't watch a whole lot of, of stuff. Like if... If I'm watching anything, it's basically like Godzilla. Mostly. Which, depending on how well the uh, the upcoming Godzilla Mega Project, uh, depending on how well that Godzilla Mega Project goes, we may return to uh, my original roots as a creator, which was movie reviews. Which that Godzilla Mega video should be out tomorrow. Would recommend checking it out. Wish you could watch more anime since there's so many ones I want to watch. Yeah. I mean, well, here's a here's a way to watch more anime. Put whatever you're watching on like 1.25 times speed, so you're watching it just that little bit faster, and you can finish those series a little bit quicker. You can finish watching just a little bit faster. But yeah, because tomorrow we watch Godzilla. Kong, the New Empire, and it is absolutely surreal to see that. Nice to a friend, hope it's funny where you are. Yeah, we got a bit of overcast sky right here. But then the thing is, I actually like overcast sky. Hey, Donkey Bon, how you doing? Uh, can one of the mods please go grab Planty, Donkey Bon, and Clocky's wink? Link, please. Oh, Godzilla Minus One is fantastic. I love that movie. Like, I love basically all of the Godzilla movies. The only ones I will ever backtalk on is uh, the Netflix Godzilla movies, because they turned King Ghidorah from the absolutely awesome three-headed space dragon into, to quote my friend, Space Ramen. Space ramen. Thank you, Planty. Yeah, I love those. I feel very, I feel very strongly about these things. Like, I like how incredibly well articulated you are. Oh, thank you, Keith. I. The thing is, I don't think I'm well articulated. Cause I have to edit my own nonsense. Whenever I watch. Whenever I go back and I rewatch what I have recorded, the entire time I'm like, I sound so monotone. Like, in, in, again, in the Godzilla Mega video, I am talking about something I am incredibly passionate about. I love monster movies. And I just sound so monotone. And it's like, I, I don't like the way I sound. I sound so monotone. Hey, welcome in, Galactic Admin Ariana. Thanks, Ghidorah's cool. Yeah, it's so bad. I hate Netflix Ghidorah. I hate it. It is literally space ramen. I hate that thing and everything it stands for. Like, so here's kind of a fun fact uh, for those of you who may not know. When they made King Ghidorah in Godzilla King of the Monsters, the same studio that did the other uh, visual effects for the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies, uh, Weta, they did the visual effects for King Ghidorah. So I was like, wait, Ghidorah looks kind of familiar. And then I rewatched The Hobbit because it was on the it was on TV. Uh, and I was like, wait. And, and I pull up, and like I was watching, like I just froze the frame on uh, Smaug, and I, I pull up a big, like a, a big picture of Ghidorah. I was like, wait, they look similar. And then I was like, oh wait, they're made by the same people, which just led my whole ADD brain down to a hilarious rabbit hole of because it is canonical in the MonsterVerse that all three of Ghidorah's heads have a different personality. I choose to imagine all three of Ghidorah's heads speak 
as various characters voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch. I, I choose to imagine that, and it's hilarious. It's in my head, it's funny. Oh, did I hate my voice so much? I'd rather... Green Hazard Yeah, like, it's... It... For me, it's the monotone. It's the monotone for me, because... I have heard and edited times. I am very, like, vocally expressive. Like, right now. Th this is not monotone. This is expressive, Maxis. And... Then when I'm editing some videos, it's just like, it's, 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 it's so monotone. It's like, just, it, I, I sound like I'm dead inside. When it's like, I'm talking about something I, I love, like, I'm talking about, you know, how much I love when you have stuff like Pacific Rim, where you have the Jaegers taking giant shipping, like, boats, dragging them across the city, to smack into a giant pterodactyl monster like a freaking baseball bat. And I'm just reading it monotone. As long as your view was how you bad. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair point. Because I, 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 I love those movies. And it's one of the reasons why when I saw, like, just how bad... Like, I didn't see Pacific Rim Uprising, but I saw how bad that movie was. And it's like, this is why you can't have just giant monster punch, 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 punch fests. It is, people go to these movies not just for mindless action. After all, that's why the Transformers movies don't make, you know, absolute insane amounts of money. If people wanted mindless noise, then Transformers movies would be doing, I mean, I love Transformers. You know, I, I love the series. Like, the whole franchise, Transformers Prime, if you're ever going to watch Transformers, first series to introduce yourself to the series with, recommend Transformers Prime. You got the classic voice actors, you got Optimus Prime voiced by Peter Cullen, and Frank Welker voiced in Megatron. It's got the best adaptation of the entire Transformers mythos I've ever seen. So it's like, I, I would recommend that. Also, 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 you get absolutely amazing moments like the first character on screen is voiced by Dwayne the Rock Johnson not a huge fan of Godzilla as a series but I'm a fan of Hideki 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 Yano? who loves Shin Godzilla you mean is that the Metal Gear is that is that the Metal Gear guy because I know the Metal Gear guy loved Pacific Rim. Maybe you don't post it. All. I don't think the streams. Maybe. No, it's, it's okay, Planty. It's okay. It's okay, Planty. Yeah, no, it's great. I love it. It's like, I love those movies. Before I vote on the poll, does this mean you're doing Gen 5 stuff after Lugia? Remember Roost, I already have a shiny Reshiram. But possibly. Uh, no, I don't think. Hideki. Okay, okay, this, okay, this, this is a different Hideki then. Okay. Okay, it's a different guy. I think what Roost means is Roost means after one of my shiny hunts finishes, will a Gen 5 Legendary take over that newly vacated spot? That's what you mean, right? Then I'll vote Kyrem. It's the only one of the three you can shine it in Gen 5. I love how depth you guys go with the thinking. With the geeking. We've done, we did Reshiram once. Reshiram we did like two years ago. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Because Reshiram was one of our first ever shiny hunts. We actually got that in 28 Dynamax Adventures. Uh, 25 Dynamax Adventure successes. And I haven't done any of the other Generation 5 Legendaries since, as a dedicated hunt. Yeah, that, that was a long time ago with that one. Me too, Neko. I love listening to people talk about their thing. Yeah, the thing is, like, for me, I do a lot of Pokemon stuff. But Godzilla is the series that is personally most important to me. 
Um, I couldn't decide if Shin Godzilla was big, goofy, or big, disturbing, and love that dichotomy. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Galactic Admin. Why not both? Like, th that's the beauty of the Godzilla series. It is both ends of the dark, disturbing, and horror. At the same time, giant 300-foot dinosaur with nuclear breath suplexing space dragon through skyscraper. Go burr. That's why I love it. You have, you have both ends of that. And it works. Yeah, it, it works. But... Hello, Storm Run Gaming. Hello there, Kaki. If Kyrem's wings were bigger, it would be my favorite. I love the asymmetric look of Kyrem. Because Kyrem is literally the broken husk of the original dragon. The laser beam was so good. Yeah. I, I love... Like, that's my favorite thing about all of the Japanese Godzilla renditions. Is... Every time Japan makes a new Godzilla, they reinvent the atomic heat ray. You know, you've got Shins where it's the like it's like the big billowing clouds of fire, then it turns into the narrow laser beam, which amusing irony. The sound effect that plays when Shin uses the purple narrow laser beam ray is the same sound effect that plays when Allow me to nerd a bit. When Deso Troya uses the micro oxygen blast. And you may be wondering why that is ironic. That is because Deso Troya was mutated by the very thing that killed the first Godzilla, the oxygen destroyer. So it's an amusing little irony right there. It's even a purple little la narrow laser beam. See, I wish I could have this much in-depth knowledge. I just know I like the thing. It's go burr. Yeah. Well, for me, I love history. And actually, kind of Godzilla is a larger part of actually why I love history. Where I... I mean, G Godzilla also has a lot more historical depth than most fictional characters. You know, Godzilla is not just, say, but uh, well, the thing is, oh, well, here's the fun thing, Neko. In the video coming out tomorrow, I kind of go over a lot of this in a lot more detail. But Godzilla is not just, you know, a giant monster because giant monster Gober. Godzilla was originally a, basically a, a symbol. He was an allegory. And over time, it actually morphed from basically being an allegory for a thing into, you know, giant monster fight, because giant monsters fighting is awesome. But they still always bring it back, and, like, that's one of the things about Shin, about King of the Monsters, that they actually go back to, and actually about Godzilla Minus One, is that they bring Godzilla back to those roots, and it still works. Like, it... It, it, it has not lost its original meaning, and people still go for that exact reasoning. I love it. Need a lot of crystals and can harness the great power. Well, I mean, Godzilla literally went into, into literal nuclear meltdown after absorbing the crystals. So that's my, I, mean, I think your voice is great, Rod. Can I ask each of you in chat to give me a number between 1 to 20, including Metaderp? My answer for the number is 15. My answer is 15. Fourteen, six, nineteen, thirteen. Yeah, first duplicate, Rod and Planty both getting thirteen. Fun. I like seeing like the closet. Like we got 14, 14, 14, 13, 13, 6, 7. They're, they're all they're clustered together. I find that funny. Yeah, no, it's like, I, I love a meta. It was more numbers. There's a lot more numbers. But 22, look. 22.
I believe that is a slight bit over uh, what it, the range is. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already, and to leave a like on the stream. Six is my favorite number for no specific reason. Eh, makes sense. I mean, you can get six and you can get nine confused. Just turn it upside down and then it increases the value by three. Or by 50%. Depends on way you look at it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna actually keep track of, uh... Probably gonna keep track of my Lugie encounters. I'll just count 22 as 20. <laughs> I mean, that math checks out. That math can check out. Seven is my favorite. No idea. Interesting. It's always interesting seeing people's favorite numbers. I've always liked 15 for some reason. No clue why, I just like 15. Yeah, today's doing quite, quite well. This word salad was a hard. I mean, I was like, I, 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. King of the, uh, Godzilla X Kong, New Empire is going to be great. I should have asked this question when there were less people in chat. Yeah, probably got a good idea to do that roast. Probably would have been a good idea. Probably was a good idea. My favorite, my least favorite number is 492. Interesting. The Nutella is melted. Oh, my God. Ah, interesting. Numbers I like should be the same upside down. I mean, I guess five is kind of the same upside down. Well, I mean, well, five is, well, five is the same if you rotate it uh, 180 degrees, not mere upside down. I don't think every single person will say a number. Some of these people just spawned. They literally were spawn camping until the numbers were dropping. Spawn camping numbers. But there was the attempt I gave up Shiny Hunt a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago in a Shiny Hunt far away. The sparkles were under attack. There is there's very, very few shiny hunts I think I've ever actually given up on. And like not just like return to them eventually. Like we still haven't well I mean we still gotta finish the Duraladon shiny hunt. See, once I'm so many encounters in I can't stop. Because then I feel a waste of time. Ah, the sunk cost fallacy. For me it's more a thing of I won't let the stupid shiny win. That is the entire reason I brute forced my way through the Ho-Oh Dynamax Adventure Hunt. Purely because I did not want to let the stupid bird win. After I had been hunting that thing for over a year, I refused to let it win. So like, you know what? We're going to beat this thing. We're going to stop this bird. Okay, have a good day, Truz Dumb. See you later. No sparkles. I noticed that BDSP is my worst nightmare. The Latias and the Starter Hunt. I hate this game. I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, BDSP definitely got its flaws. I'm kind of... I almost wonder... If the reason they took out the Shiny Charm affecting everything other than Masuda Method... Is specifically because... They knew people were not going to like the, uh, the Legends Arceus giving Shinies a lot easier. Because Game Freak did actually mandate a lot of changes made to BDSB before it released. So, I mean, I, I would love to know what the backroom discussions were for BDSP that Game Freak basically mandated... And what originally Ilka wanted to do for that game. Because the original vision Ilka had for BDSP was actually a lot more in line with what we, what we as players wanted. And actually it was the Game Freak that basically uh, stonewalled that. Which is kind of unfortunate because the game could have been pretty cool. Because the game actually did, for the first time in a long time in the Pokemon series, actually delivered some pretty hard fights. My husband and I once did a 2k egg check for shiny pumpkaboo and sword and shield and never... Wow! 
Did you not have a shiny charm or Masuda Ditto? I'm more of a battle, so I like Vita Speed. Over nice. I'm the same way, Rod. Like, it, I mean, I am a battler, but for me, it's more the risk they took with amping up a lot of those fights. Because some of the fights in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum were pretty difficult for the time as is. Like, even in the grander scheme of numbers compared to later Pokemon games. Those are some not difficult fights, but definitely some fights that are more difficult than later games. Uh, there, that's what it is. So, like, the, and, like, the willingness to go and actually, like, amp those fights up was, like, I like that. I actually really, really like that. There we go. Okay, we had the ditto. Okay. Uh, did you not have a shiny charm then? Interesting. We had them suited ditto. I got a lot of shiny eggs and BDSP after we got the charm. Hello, this is Panda. Uh, why are you doing? The reason why is Thunder Wave. The Starmie is for Thunder Wave. Because I want to get this thing paralyzed ASAP. I also have a, um, actually I had to go get out the number pad actually for when Lugia finally shines. But yeah, no, it is purely for Thunder Wave. I mean, 10k, that's still a lot. That's, that's still a freaking heckin' lot of eggs. We're making the mother of all omelets, Jack. You can't fret over every egg. Can start me when I sleep? Like, yawn. No. I have nothing capable of using Yawn that is prepared. Um, I have no Pokemon with Spore access. I have no Pokemon with Sleep Powder. And I would rather have Starmie out in front of this thing. I'd rather the Paralysis purely because with Paralysis, it is permanent. And I don't need to spend turns using a move like Sleep Powder over and over and over again. So I can... Like, it, it's a bit more of a risk. But what it also does is it basically ensures I will be able to track and, like, yeah, not need to keep track as heavily of basically Lugia's moves. I mean, I, Lugia only has 45 moves it can use against me. So, we are going to be on the clock from the get-go. That is why I have the ace up my sleeve when it comes to this Lugia shiny hunt. Said ace up my sleeve is the Master Ball. We caught Entei in this game with a Master Ball, but that was the Master Ball from my Heart Gold file that I never used. So I was able to catch Entei with that. The Master Ball we have in this game is the Master Ball from this file. So that way, if we get the Lugia Shiny, and if it gets down to the wire, we can click the Master Ball. It's time to get Caitlyn. I don't... I think Star U can learn Hypnosis. But I do not believe Star Me can. Because I believe you need to learn it as a Star Me. And you need to be, I believe you need to learn it as a star you, and then evolve it into a star me to keep it. And if you delete it, you cannot relearn it without going and getting a new star me. And that would entail going out, getting another star me, another star you, train it all the way up to level 77, and then getting another water stone. As well as it doesn't account for Hypnosis' garbage accuracy, because it has about a 60% chance of hitting. Like, ideally, Yawn or Spore would be the best option. But I don't have anything that is high level that has Yawn or Spore. Also, the Spore users are massively cripplingly weak to Lugia. Did 
didn't know Starmie was so powerful knowing Water Legend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it learns a lot of moves. Hello there, Doma. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Oh, you know, Starmie is, is inc incredibly good. Starmie has been an absolute top-tier contender competitively ever since, like, Gen 1. It has consistently been one of the strongest Pokemon. Oh, thank you very much for that, Doma. Thank you. Uh, I call it Scooby Doom, and you call it Fluffy. But what? What do you, what do you call Fluffy? Houndoom. I like Houndoom. I actually used Houndoom in my uh, first Soul Silver playthrough we did on the channel. Uh, let's see, Starmie moves. Star you moves. Star you recover camouflage swift minimize Garibaldi. No, it does not seem to learn hypnosis. Yes, it does not learn Hypnosis. Unfortunately. But yeah, no, I don't have anything capable of inflicting sleep. But yeah, Starmie is terrifying. I like Houndoom too, but wish it had ears. I, I always thought the horns were ears. Until I learned that they were horns. I'm a little bit stupid. Yeah, no, Starmie is, is incredibly strong. It gets a lot of moves. It gets grass moves, it gets psychic moves, it gets ice moves, electric moves. I believe... Hello there, him. How are you doing? I believe for a long time, Starmie actually straight up did not even run psychic. Psychic moves. I mean, I know there's like some of the like, very short ears. Maybe it's that. But yeah, no, like, uh, for a, actually, let me go check Starmie's. Because, again, I know a lot of Starmie didn't actually run Psychic moves for a while. Because Psychic, back in the day, I mean, even today, it's still only good against Fighting and Poison. And back in the days before, like, Poison had Fairy to hit, there, there was no reason to bring it. And for Fighting... You know, fighting was good. Team Zacron. Ooh, very nice. Based. Very based. Wait, let me go check. Because I remember one of my friends, when I was doing some Battle Frontier things, he commented how Pokemon Company has no idea how to make Pokemon that are good. Because the star me you get early on in the Battle Factory is the one that has, I believe it was like Psychic, Ice Beam... Yeah, Psychic, Ice Beam, Surf, and Thunderbolt. Or one of those moves you have for Energy Ball. And then the one you get later on in the Battle Factory doesn't have one of those moves and instead has Recover. When you want the coverage moves more than the Recover because, like, Starmie is not bulky by any means. It's it's not paper thin, but it's it's not bulky. You, you use Starmie as a beat stick. And I mean, nowadays you use it for tech with Rapid Spin, but then that's a bit of a deceptive matter altogether. Yeah, Starmie has remained very good for a long time. I believe only as of, like, Gen 8 did Starmie start falling off a little bit. But that was with the advent of just better hazard removal. And, because, I mean, hazard removal was one of Starmie's best things. Also, Natural Cure, which is fantastic for switchings. Yes, yeah, so Starmie, you know, one of the few times I will actually consult Smogon. I'm more about doubles battle than a singles battler, but I know that Smogon does, like, early on Smogon was, like, on the, on the, on the dot with stuff. If only Starmie was his color violet. That'd be horrifying. Scarlet Violet Starmie would be horrifying to see. Yeah, you, you in Gen... Well, you, you in Gen 7 when the Mega Evolutions and Z-Moves existed. That's not really too surprising. Like, the funniest thing is... On paper, most of Starmie's abilities are kind of bad. Like, Natural Cure, whoever uses Natural Cure. You know, normally. You know, Analytic, it's a Pokemon that's incredibly fast. 
So why would you ever have analytic? Well, analytic works on switch outs. And then there's illuminate with just complete garbage. Yeah, when better when better hazard removal came into being a thing, Starmie did kind of start losing a little bit of ground. But it got it was good for a long time. And one of the main reasons is it just has so much type coverage. You know, it basically the best way to think about Starmie is this. Do you need something that can use rapid spin to get rid of hazards? If the answer is yes, then you know Starmie is a Pokemon you want to put on your short list. And, if that answer further is, do you need something with a lot of type coverage? Then Starmie is basically your best bet. Yeah, Gen 6 Starmie, OU. Gen 5 Starmie, OU. It's, it's incredibly good. I'm more of a singles guy, but doubles is good. I love doubles. But yeah, no, it's like, it's like, Starmie is one of those Pokemon that you can kind of splash on most teams. And, and also, again, this is when it still had Scald. So, you could put a Pokemon that has Spin. You have, you have a Pokemon that has Hazard Removal. On a Pokemon that can soak up status conditions and get rid of it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, back in the day, Starmie would, I think, sometimes run Hidden Power Fire. Yeah. Yeah, Starmie, as of Gen... Uh, Starmie in Generation 5. It would just go Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Rapid Spin. They straight up did not run Psychic or any Psychic moves just because Psychic does not offer, like, n very meaningful coverage. Yeah, they they just run... They, they wouldn't even run Psychic. They go, like, just rapid spin for tech. Though, after Psyshaw kind of became a thing and when Fairy types actually became, like... When fairy types became a thing and people actually started using more psychic, uh, people started using more poison types, then Starmie would sometimes actually opt for picking up a psychic move to delete those poison types to bodyguard fairies. But that was a bit different. That was when you would kind of run a bit of a bulkier Starmie for tech coverage rather than just because before, Starmie was just DPS. You'd run it for damage, run it for a little bit of utility. But then, as time went on, it morphed into you're running it for tech. You're running it for speed and HP. And then, you know, just do a little bit of chip damage. It, it's terrifying. But then, if you're running, you know, an offensive one, you're not really running Psychic on it. You're running, like, Thunderbolt. And then, you know, you either Hidden Power Fire, which Hidden Power Fire is Delete Ferrothorn. Which, I'm glad Ferrothorn is gone. Like, not Ferrothorn. I'm glad Hidden Power is gone. I like Ferrothorn. I'm glad Hidden Power as a move is gone. Because, like, Terra Blast kind of does a lot of the same things. In fact, a lot of Pokemon... A lot of Pokemon that used to run Hidden Power run a Terra type that is often what their former Hidden Power used to be. That was a bit of a disjointed, janky sentence, but I think you got what I'm trying to say. Uh, just for the type coverage purposes. Now, it's not a one-to-one, not -one, because there are some Pokemon, like Zapdos, really, really, really liked Hidden Power Ice, but it doesn't go for uh, Terra Ice. Sometimes it, sometimes it does go Terra Ice. But most of the time it does that and Regilecki could be a problem in Gen 8, 8. no Regilecki wouldn't really have been that big of an issue with hidden power because Regilecki's base special attack is pathetically weak it is only base 100 which you know that that, that may seem kind of strong but the only reason Regilecki does as much damage as it does back then was because of Transistor. You'd be running a Transistor Magnet Regielecki, so it would be getting 50% Stab, 50% boost from Transistor, and then a 20% boost from Magnet, which that really amped up its damage. You know, puns speaking. Something like a Hidden Power Ice from Regielecki 
would maybe be only one third the power of what its electric type moves were hitting at. It just it it wouldn't be that threatening. That's that's even why it looked like Terra Blast, Terra Ice. It can't really knock stuff out unless it's like a quad weakness or it's running like specs. It just it just does not have the power. Which I'm I'm, I'm glad for. Like I, I like that because I get it keeps things balanced. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. I think Gyarados was hiding in Lake Michigan. I wouldn't be surprised by that. I mean, all the stuff that gets dumped into the water by Detroit. I think they removed the power of the dinosaurs. Not exactly. They removed hidden power for a couple of reasons. One of them was because of the way they needed to reprogram the battles for Sword and Shield. Didn't really allow for certain moves to work correctly. Like, that's why, uh... Well, thank you very much, Gullahs. We are big fans of Godzilla Final Wars. Uh, certain moves just fundamentally could not work, though they had to basically retool the gaming programming to allow Dynamaxing to exist. But other moves were taken out for reasons of just competitive balance, though certain moves were just absolutely insane. Or they really kind of served as bloat move pools, and they really didn't do much of anything like barrage that move was is garbage no one ever used it but it just existed for so long so they basically just purged a whole lot of moves that were kind of unnecessary or way too broken and hidden power was one of the broken ones it kind of further it, it sort of furthered something that i've said for a long time about one of the reasons i kind of don't like the massive divide in Physical attackers are so much worse than special attackers. Kind of funny, Beyond Spider-Verse was supposed to release this weekend. Spider-Verse? Beyond the Spider-Verse? Is that like a, is that like a the third Spider-Verse movie? Eh, we kind of are. Kind of are. But something like uh, Hidden Power was, was competitively for balancing. Because you have every single special attacker able to give perfect coverage to... It's biggest weakness. Again, it's a lot of electric types really loved Hidden Power Ice. Uh, a lot of things that got bodied by Ferrothorn would specifically run Hidden Power Fire to delete Ferrothorn. And it would allow a lot of special attackers to just demolish their counters. And that, again, massively disadvantaged physical attackers on top of things like Intimidate already existing and Burn. So removing it, like... It didn't even the playing field, but it made it less uneven. And I'm glad it's gone. I'm glad Hidden Power as a typing is gone. I like, as a mechanic, Terrasalize does a lot of what it does a lot better. But hello there. Calls Game. I was teased right after the main movie ended. Ah, I was teased the movie ended. I'm doing very, very well. Hello there, first down prods. How many soft resets so far? Um, we are not keeping track of soft resets, Michael Almager. But, we are sort of like mentally keeping track of the general encounters. We're at around 600 right now. I'm probably going to actually keep track of them going forward. Probably like put a thing under the thing for it. And just like say like we're about like 600 right now just based on timing. But welcome in. Hope you guys are all doing well. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more. But we're doing a lot of shiny hunts. The only, and I'm also hunting this on physical hardware. Old school gen for Lugia soft reset hunting. Not fun, but I mean, I, I, I prefer it. I like it. I enjoy it. Yeah, capture card was not a hot cheap install almost thing. $300 and had to be sent to Germany. But it all began with Heart Gold Soul Silver years ago. Kinda wanna get this thing before Bank shuts down. Which I I think Bank is gonna shut down probably in a few years. You know, I I see Bank 
If only I can capture these DS. I mean, there are places you can buy three DSs and two DSs that have capture cards installed in them. They're a lot cheaper than they used to be. Yeah, I, I almost wish I hadn't gotten mine when I did. Because now they're way cheaper. Like, to get the DS itself and the capture card was in total probably like $550. Now you can get 3DSs and 2DSs and 3DS XLs with capture cards already installed them for like less than 200 bucks. Like, it, it, it's freaking highway robbery compared to what it used to be. And I think a, like a large part of that is because of how old the Switch is and there's less of a demand, in a sense, for them. I would love if we got a shiny ECF. I would love that. I would absolutely love if we got a shiny. Because we are not even at 10% of odds yet. 10% of odds is about... 820 encounters. That's about 820 encounters. But we just gotta make our way through everything. Yeah. I wish I conjured the luck. Oh, trust me, I don't I don't think we're going to have luck on this thing. I predict this hunt is gonna go at bare minimum. Well into the 20,000s, just based on my luck. I mean, I got Shiny Rayquaza in Dynamax Adventures in 13 DAs. So, I uh, I have zero expectations of, of good luck on this. Then again, Latias is almost double over odds at Dynamax Adventures, so you never know. You never know when that RNG whiplash comes back to just nail you on the back of the head. I think you're gonna get in a half an hour, hopefully, if you, I hope. I mean, it would be absolutely, I mean, so long as it doesn't take, like, half, so long as it doesn't take a year and a half to get this thing, I, I count that as a win. Cause that's how long it took to get freaking shiny Ho-Oh. Year and a half. But yeah, I think we actually are going to uh, to start keeping track of Lugia. Let's go add text. Yeah, we'll just we'll put it at. We'll make an assumption of about. Go six. We'll lowball the six hundred. Lowball six hundred. Color. We'll go do the color later. Grading color later. Line the top. Select font. Make it a little. A little bigger. And there we go. Alignment top vertical alignment outline. Uh, select color. Big screen color. Yeah, it's good. That looks really good. No, 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 no. Oh, right, that doesn't work the same way. There we go. Much better. Now, now, you grab that. Move, move that, make it a little bigger. There we go. Much better. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can see how that goes. We can see how that goes. Um, there we go. Text. There we go. Well, then, then, then the tricky part would be. Ah, uh, okay, that's okay. That does that. Okay, yeah, I can't have that thing up and the other thing at the same time. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, thank you very much, Eve. Uh, to the French years, yes, then. What's the OG Godzilla had? A uh, little action destroyer thing. Yes, the action destroyer. Yes, the Oxygen Destroyer. Yeah. Again, th those old Godzilla movies, they... The original. The original Godzilla, I should say. 
not for the faint of heart that movie is that that is a movie that goes pretty hard that is that is a movie that goes pretty hard there we go gradient direction Green opacity. Yeah, that works. All right, that, that's fine. All right, yeah, I might, might need to decrease that one at some point. There we go, that looks a little better. Yeah, that's good. I like the gradient thing. If only I, did. I would love that. Like I would love to get a shiny soon. But hey, some sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Sometimes it shines, sometimes it doesn't. Seven. I mean, if we get it in like seven more encounters, that'd be great. I would love that. I would love. Yeah, the um the Godzilla Collector's Edition case actually looks a lot like the Oxygen Destroyer, and I freaking love it. I can, I can now actually adjust. Okay, no, so it, it, okay. I thought that was being a bit weird. For real, I'd love it. But you know, I love that. I would love to get a shiny soon. Again, if we get the shiny soon, I'm happy. Hello, that book went to Emerald, and thank you. I do indeed need good luck. We indeed do need the goodest of luck. The luck does not exist for us. Lugia hates us. I mean, both Johto legendaries hate me. But we already knew that. The good thing is, again, I can see it pretty easy. Yes. Yes. Like, if we get it 6-10, like, if we get it before 6-10, I'd be happy. That'd be fun. We have full odds. Full odds hunting. And to think, I thought the worst I was ever going to get would be the Poipole Shiny Hunt. And we still haven't gotten the Poipole Shiny yet. If Ho appears, two trainers appear apart. What does that mean if it's shiny? Yeah, fair point. Fair enough. Yes, I see your logic line. I see your train of logic thought. Your logic is flawless. Your logic does indeed be logicking. Also, if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more. And leave a like if you haven't done so already. Yeah. So seven. Yeah, like the the audio kind of like weirding out. Maybe it's just me. But does that bother anyone else? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, no, I know. I I think I know who we're gonna go raid. I think I know exactly who we're gonna go raid. If they're still alive is the big thing. To get their, if they're not live anymore, then that's a bit of an issue. But again, we'll go figure out someone else. We will figure somebody else out. Okay, yeah, no, they're done. They they stopped streaming. Okay. Okay, so normally they go live for about four and a half hours. Okay. All right, so I'll need to note that for the future. Yeah, that seems to be upper bound. All right. Nine. Yep. Yeah, we'll go figure out. We'll go find somebody else to go raid then, because that. Do, do, who do we raid? Though that's the real question. 
Who do we raid is the realistic questions? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure we'll figure something out. No, you didn't miss the stream. No, we're not raiding right now. I was just checking to see if the person I was thinking of raiding when the stream ends, if they were still live. Because we're still probably going to be going live for like maybe another hour or so. One. No temper. Don't know who that is. Yeah, you know, we're probably going to be live for a while longer. We are going to be live for a while more. <laughs> well, again, I do have the video to get back to doing. And, like, whether, depending on how long that actually takes to finish, we'll determine whether we do a stream later tonight. So I probably shouldn't go, like, too, too, too aggressive. Probably shouldn't go super long on those one. So there is that. There's a lot of stuff to consider. There's much to consider. Um, yeah, no, it's going quite well. Things are going quite good today. Three. Rukia. It does not sparkle. The shiny teeth that sparkle. Let me go look at who this uh, this person is. becoming Yeah. Okay. They're 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 massive. Okay. Yeah. That that is probably not someone we would go and raid. Cause uh, cause like the the massive channels, those are the ones that find intimidating to raid. We generally like to try to read like the the ones along the sides, like you know, the smaller ones. Four. There we go. By the way, we'll fi we'll figure someone out. We'll figure out something. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Vienna, what is um? No, wrong button. There we go. I should probably move these papers so I can actually see through the clear glass of the desk. Because yeah, because my desk is, uh, is glass, so I can kind of see through it. Like, I, not kind of, I can see through it. And I kind of, like, use that so I don't you know, get the keyboard out, so I can stay closer to the screen. We'll take a look at the face cam. It works. Uh, how long have we been live for? We've been live for, you've been live for two hours. Only two hours, really. I didn't think it was interesting. I guess the time does go by a bit slower when it comes to uh, soft reset hunts. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit slower. Let's see, when did we start off the uh, the counter for this so I can kind of get track? We got 16 encounters in how long? Because I'm pretty sure one of these encounters is like, how long? How many minutes? So, din. We do our check. Oh. No sparkles. There are no sparkles in Bossing Say. Hmm, if you're still looking for someone to raid, the donation. I mean, we'll, we'll, when when it comes time to raid, we'll probably go do. We'll we'll look for someone. Okay, so we added the counter about okay. So we added the counter about ten minutes ago. So we're doing a little over. One and a half encounters per minute. We're doing over one and a, yeah, we're doing about one and a half encounters per minute. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Mm 
That could be someone. That isn't. That's an option. They'll, they'll keep our options open. I'm wondering how long they're going to be going for. That's possibly someone. So I do like going to find new people. But we also may end off a little bit earlier than uh, than normal. We figure stuff out. So we might go until like 4 p.m. my time and then we end off. We'll figure it out. We, we figure it out. We will fluff around and find out. No shiny. Yeah, no, we're figuring stuff out. It could work. It could work. Also, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you haven't done so already. Uh, we lost another small streamer, you right? Yeah, like, um, I... Let me give a check. Let me give a check. So, I like to look for options, because... I like to... I mean, as much as I like to support the friends, you know, the people I know... Um, we do tend to raid each other frequently, and the problem is, after a while... You're not really helping, you know, each other grow. Like, you're you're bringing more people to leave a like on the video, on the stream. You're bringing more people to, you know, give some watch hour increases. But you're not really bringing new people to the channel, which does sort of hamstring growth a bit. So it's, it's kind of a bit of a thing, which is why I kind of need to uh, burst out expand. So again, it's a, it's a bit of a, a large thing. It does a lot. They're, they're, they're kind of a big channel. Gal Galax is a bit of a big channel. There's, there's kind of a lot of people doing that. 64... No shiny. No shiny, unfortunately. But we'll get one eventually. But anyone got any plans this weekend? Well, this weekend and the... Well, the, not just this week, but like, you know, this... Well, I mean, it is... Well, it's easier this weekend and Good Friday, so... I guess technically tomorrow basically is the Friday of this week. We could explain a couple of things. But I'm hoping that after Easter is kind of when the whole, like, slump growth kind of picks up. I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's a bit of a weird timing thing. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's good. Let's go to a plan. Again, let's go to a plan, flip around and find out. You're the wrong channel, probably. Yeah, because there's, there's only one Galax that I see that popped up, and it's uh, 1.66 million people. I'm I'm not seeing any other Galax. Um, you could probably want to uh, like DM me. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now now I see them. Okay, I see uh, Galax like 5.3k subs. Yeah, I... Oh, no, Galaxy Tag. Okay, no, that's not the same thing. Yeah, I'm I'm not seeing who... You mean... Oh, DB Galax. Okay. At DB Galax. Okay. We'll go check. 
Yeah, this, 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 this is finding, this is... Ser searching for raid targets, potentially. Searching for potential raid targets with Madame Axis. Ah, there we go. Okay. You know, all right, I like it. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I see. Ooh, let me try this. All right. Hmm. That is an option. That is someone. I'm going to need to keep some of these in mind. Did not mean to do that. Oops, I didn't reset at the right time. Right. Yeah, there's... There's options. There's some options to raid. Yeah, like, that's kind of the fun thing, is, is when you can look for potential options for raids. Hello there, Jade. How do you do today? Hope you are doing well. Hope you are doing well today, Jade. Smell. You. We, you? 30. We are not seeing our shiny yet. Our shiny does not want to appear yet. You said because I got jump rope. What is wrong with I mean I what's wrong with jump rope? What is what is wrong with the jump rope? The jumpiest of ropes. I I'm I'm very concerned, Jade. I am I am extremely concerned. I would I would like clarification, Jade. I have a long list of questions. I have several questions, only some of which I would like answered. Only some of which. Look, yeah. I love it, and then I got a new record, and then so many people be Ah, I see. I see. Yeah, I can understand that. That math kind of checks out. <clears throat> that math kind of checks out. Nope. Button. There we go. I left. Got a new record. New record. Well, all that means, Jade, is you're gonna need to beat their beating of your record. You're gonna have to top them. Just to top, you get you gotta top their record. That's right. Four. Nope. No sparkles. No sparkles exist. Sparkles do not exist in Bossing Side. We're working on it. We're working on stuff. We are making gains and progress. We are making all of the progress in the world. Nope. No Lugia yet. But yeah, I've got an idea. Um, I've got some some stuff ideas, some stuff and ideas. Opening up the thing. Let's get a Lugia. Six, six, three, six. Hmm. Yeah, we got some plans for that. Yeah, after we finish our Lugia shiny hunt, I. Actually, don't know what we're gonna go for next. Uh, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna finish it. We're gonna migrate it up to the the modern games. Get all of the other uh, ribbons on it. We possibly can. 
but I don't know what we're going to replace this with. Because I can only have so many Dynamax Adventure Shiny Hunts going at the same time. That's a little bit of an issue. Uh, do you have Shiny Shiny Violet all the places? The problem with that would be I would need to restart my Violet version. But I was meaning a specific shiny hunt. Because what we're doing is we're doing a living shiny dex. And we've already got plans for a Pokemon Legends Arceus shiny only playthrough. So we kind of already have the shiny only thing planned out. Ish. Sort of. By, by the smallest fraction it's been planned ish. Um, I think I've actually already caught Celebi in my crystal. This right on the main file, I have three profiles. The thing is, I would need to send my shinies over from my file onto a different thing. Which would mean I would need to go to someone IRL, trade them, and, and do the whole thing with, possibly. But possibly. But I'm going to be doing that with Legends Arceus, though. Because, again, Legends Arceus is one I already have the plan for. But for Crystal, I would need to go and re-beat Crystal. And I'm not the most fond of games pre-Gen 4. I played Crystal once. I did not enjoy it. Plus, we also don't know... We have not got we have not shiny hunted Arceus yet. Arceus is on the ticket. Maybe we actually do go for Arceus. I'd need to make a lot of preparations for that one though. I would I would need to do that. Not really, it's more so the days before the physical special split and the days before Pokemon actually got decent moves. Cuz if you look at the moves that existed in Gen 1, 2, and 3, like, less Gen 3, there are some, some decent moves that exist in Gen 3, but it, it's mostly Gen 1 and Gen 2, those moves are, are terrible. Like, you're basically dealing with Pokemon that their best option is, like, a 30 to 40 to maybe 50 base power move, unless they're a starter type, or they're, like, Ice types. And even that ice types generally weren't that good. Or you run the massive gambit of, well, they're a special attacker and their stabs are physical. Or they're a physical attacker and their stabs are special. So it's like... You, you're not really dealing with it. Also, a lot of Pokemon back then, their best moves were available only via TM. Which generally you didn't get it until like generally good TMs you didn't get it until, like you basically beat the game already, which would point there's no point in it. Which that's especially a problem with Johto, where because so many TMs are actually inside of Kanto and Mount Silver, to agree. A lot of the best moves for a lot of Pokemon are not available until you beat the game. And it not just beat the game, but get pretty deep into the game. Which makes a playthrough a bit difficult. Especially when a lot of the Pokemon that are a bit better in the Johto games, you can only get via trade. And I, you can't do trade stuff because it's only local. Last time I played them, I was young enough. Yeah. That's kind of the thing. When we were younger, we would literally just slam our face into a wall and probably exclusively use our starter. Which, when, I mean, I, I could do that. I literally could go, all right, we're going to grab Quilava, or we're going to grab, like, Totodile, and we're going to blitz through the game, and then we're going to get there. But then the other problem is, I would need to catch a Parasect, or a, a Spore po well, yeah, a Parasect. I need to catch a Parasect, get False Swipe, possibly, or False Swipe Pokemon, and then... 
I would need to go through a lot of preparations to get that Celebi. There'd be a lot of preparations for that. That's one of the reasons why I don't really have a Fall Swipe user or a Spore user in this game, is the amount of time it would actually take to get that Spore user made would basically have delayed the entire, like, shine of this thing by, like, weeks. Which, I probably could do that off-screen a bit. But I would do that off-screen a bit if I had, like, the available time. Because a lot of the time right now is being spent working on a lot of other video projects. Spend on a lot of other projects. But yes, I think. Yeah, I, I think I know who we're gonna go raid. But yes, ooh. You know, I mean, they, they got Dratini in the background, though. That's pretty, that's pretty baller. They got, they got Dratini in the background. If you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you're new. Do a Pokemon and all the I know the legends. All you have to do is research them all. There we go. New... Yes, a week ago. But you know they're not doing sandwich hunting. They're doing they're, they're doing that. Uh, they're doing that. They're doing that. Um. Yeah, we will end when we get to six hundred fifty encounters, and then we're gonna go on a raid. We're gonna go raid at that. So we get two more encounters. We're gonna be doing that. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna go check to see how like how much these two guys stream and like what their streaming schedule is. So that way I can like keep track of that, or is they generally not? They, okay, that's probably the new thing that they're doing then. Nine. So one more after this one. And let's go check the other one so I can get a bit of a get a bit of a little background. Right there. That's a lot of high quality thumbnail work. That is high quality work. Okay. So okay, they go live every day then. All right. Okay, so we'll go raid them tomorrow. We will raid them tomorrow. So we'll raid the other one today. All right, let's do last encounter of the day. 650 on the dot-ish. And it does not sparkle. So we're going to go for a raid. We are going to go raid the Domination. That is a recommendation that we have. So let's go. Um, let's go get raid link open. Let's go get that up. Yeah, the other thing is that they're also not a um, wait thing, which is good. Go find. There we go. The dummy nation. Yeah, they are doing, it looks like, shiny hunting for, yes, they are getting every alpha and researching, perf and perfecting every research in Legends of Abigas. Let's go right. Let's send the love over to them. I will see you guys tomorrow. There we go, there's the raid. And I am going to finish the editing of the video.
And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Possibly later today, uh, depending on how things go. There we go. See you then. Have a good night.